and the next one is similarity measures what's sim uh, similarity measures what's this called uh this is because mathematical uh, distance matrix and is all of the things we are going through is that mathematical uh, distance matrix or is no. it different uh, no no i am um, we are uh, using each technique uh, while we are solving a project or problem but what what so is it called technique or what's the terminology for what we are going through right now uh it's uh, matrix metrics okay so and how many metrics is it uh it may go go so so many times we we are for nlp we don't have a clear metric so depends on the scenario they will uh, change the matrix they are sometimes they will use uh, this n grams also matrix with the one n gram mm -hmm. how many uh, how much accuracy we are getting for mm -hmm. two n grams uh, how much accuracy or uh, we are getting like that uh, it will go uh, mm -hmm. this metric is actually used for model purpose so i will go for an example here maybe we can go for paint So let's consider a two dimension uh, graph here. Mm -hmm. um, let's go for two data points. So this point will be woman. Yes. And this will be queen. This will be man. This will be king. Mm -hmm. So what this topic is, uh, it's called word to vector. The model name is word to vector. We are just converting each word into a vectors. So uh, if you plot randomly uh, with the English uh, corpus means, for each word, you will be having some n dimensional vectors. So they have some predefined uh, modules for that, like 100 dimensions, three dimension, uh, 300 dimensions. So currently we are just uh, seeing about two dimensions. Mm -hmm. So if you see the meaning, uh, man and king are uh, distances much less compared to woman. When you say distance, uh, does that mean in the actual sentence or what were you talking about, the distance? Meaning. Is it in... Uh, meaningful uh, distance so usually okay, uh, okay. Yeah. while we are projecting these words into a vectors mm. uh, similar words or uh, similar meaningful words will actually group together yeah so so this is uh, what you're showing me is the result of the analysis yeah. correct yeah, yes okay. so this will be grouped into one this also grouped mm -hmm. into one mm -hmm. it can be categorized uh, into further uh, if you subcategorize multiple times means so okay. what what we'll and, actually and, do is yeah yeah and the subcategorization and these things uh, how do you uh, impact that how how do you tweak that is that something that uh, how much customization is it uh, can you for instance just uh, change some numbers in the code or is it uh, uh no it is automatically uh, projected based on the meaning that's the algorithm mm -hmm. they have defined so based mm -hmm. on the meaning and uh, similarity um they uh, the words are automatically grouped together okay so okay. if you say these are some same gender right so that's why the distance is less yep. in similarity missions we have multiple distances for uh, calculating shorter distances we will be going for uh, euclidean uh, distance Mm -hmm. like that uh, there are so many uh, distance uh, there this will be a absolute distance so this will be somewhat squared and uh, this will have some absolute value so yeah. there are many uh, metrics for this based on the purpose or based on the requirements we we can able to change the metric based on the metric the model accuracy will also change uh, how do you pick the metrics how do you know because this metric is uh, under the uh, euclidean distance yeah and you call this mathematical correct yeah how do you know if the metric should be mathematical how do you so if you get the problem or whatever request for the model how do you know okay this is a mathematical metrics or this is you know something else 
well uh, all the things are uh, come under ma- mathematical uh, only i already okay. said uh, <laughs> it will come into numbers only uh, everything i am just giving a overview if you go uh, deep into max means so uh, it will be uh, so much tedious to understand but everything mm. uh, will be max only uh, even for machine learning algorithms uh, to deep learning algorithms ev- everything will be max only ma- uh, that will be linear algebra probability and matrices uh that will cover m- most of the topics yeah what do you mean by max only what's that the underlying code will be uh, mathematical okay like, yeah okay so uh, and that's max is uh, math- does that mean yeah that code? is the foundation of everything okay okay yeah even uh, i don't uh, suggest you need to learn everything uh, i am also a practical person i just uh, mm. use modules for the corresponding scenarios based on the experience yeah, exactly. exactly so yeah. i think uh, that is enough for uh, practical use cases yeah and if you take this as an example you want mm. uh, similar words related to this word let's say mm-hmm. man so you, for that uh, you you can use uh, euclidean distance so it will give us a uh, closer words so if mm. you have another word related to uh, this gender or uh, related to something related to man means it will it will be near this only but uh, how how do you know what's your framework to know that this is a uh, um the right approach is uh, euclidean uh, distance yeah i already mentioned uh, if you want some similar uh, similar words means for similarity you will be u- going for uh, euclidean distance for that you need to understand that uh, what is the what is euclidean distance what is manhattan distance like that you right. need to understand but, is, uh, but there has to be some sort of uh, g- guide if you want to call it that where you basically uh, based on what you're trying to achieve it helps you like a hierarchy right if you understand what i mean mm, yeah uh, because you know that uh, euclidean distance is relevant because of the similarities mm. um so it's natural to but i don't know that but yeah if there was this place i could uh, describe or for instance type in similarities right mm. that's what i'm trying to achieve and then it will show me the different approach do you know about any resources that could help do that yeah mostly in wikipedia they will cover all the concepts uh mm. even for uh, nlp uh, you can also get some theoretical concepts on wikipedia itself mm-hmm. so yeah uh, it, it can go on to sub categories mostly uh, related to max but i will show with an example with a simple explanation i think uh, that will answers your uh, questions but uh, if you dig deep means uh, it will go it is so so vague actually so <laughs> yeah Yeah, yeah because what i what i want what i'm after is more the call it the mental model of how you operate when uh, you try to solve a problem and i yeah, think mostly uh, yeah. when you solve the problem means you you will be following some uh, flow right model model flow will be there right based on that mm. uh, you may come up with uh, some new approaches maybe we can uh, combine two different uh, project models into a single mm. one for uh, some other projects so it's all uh, based on your imagination only so until yeah, certain point yeah. everything is fixed you can uh, come up with new thing by uh, combining or uh, by playing around with the modules itself mm-hmm. so it, it's up to your uh, imagination only okay like i already said uh, for similar things i'm i'm just using this metric uh, for dissimilar things i i can able to use some other metric that is uh, related to dissimilarity so that will uh, mm. get you words distance from uh, each other let's say this yeah. woman so that is opposite of a uh, man that's why it is far away mm-hmm. if you consider woman means a uh, queen is somewhat uh, related so yeah. like that it will be uh, categorized mm-hmm. okay so similar to that we have uh, various modules that is sentence to vector Mm-hmm. doc to vector so um in the previous uh, graph i just uh, converted a single word into a vectors yes it can be 100 dimension 
or uh, 300 dimension, 200, 300, it can be anything. So what, what it actually does is converting a single word into a vector. So similar to that, it will convert a whole sentence into a vector and a whole document into a vector. Could you repeat what a vector is again? Just quickly, so. I... Uh, vector is like, a, uh, let's go to the paint. Yeah. Uh, we have X axis and Y axis, right? Yes. So we have two dimension. Let's say this as six and this is two. Yeah. This is, uh, this is a two dimensional vector. So the actual output will be six comma two for the word man. Right. If you say and king means, let's say it as eight. Yeah. So it will be eight comma two. Mm -hmm. So usually it won't uh, like this integers. It will be some uh, uh, in between float values mm -hmm. because uh, we'll be using hundred dimensions. So it'll be uh, this will be third dimension and this will be fourth dimension. This will be fifth dimension. Like this, it will project multiple dimensions. Uh, yeah, if you are going for 100 dimension means for each word, you will be having mm -hmm. 100 vectors. So 100 values will be there. 100 values of uh, what? Uh, some numbers uh, that representing this uh, dimensions. Okay, so for okay, two okay. Dimensions, yeah. Yeah. So like this, uh, the vectorization will go. It is also one of the feature extraction technique. So we are just mm -hmm. uh, converting this words to vectors. Yeah, can you write the feature extraction? Yeah, excellent. 